Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse was absolutely excellent, and were very excited not just to finally see the first footage of the animated film sequel, but the announcement that it's going to be the first of multiple sequels, titled Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. The first footage sees Miles Morales, Shay McMoore, visited in his room by Gwen Stacy, Hailey Steinfeld, from across dimensions. After a bit of banter, she convinces him to join her doing, well, spidey stuff. Miles then swings through a painterly animated universe and then into a more pop-art-esque one when 2099 Spider-Man Miguel O'Hara who was seen in the post-credits scene of the original film and is voiced by Oscar Isaac swings in and grabs him. What's going on? Is there some misunderstanding pitting these Spideys against each other? What universes are these? We're sure these questions will be answered while many more questions are asked when this first part sequel releases next year. Although not shown in the trailer, we know that Peter B. Parker, the one who let himself go a bit after breaking up with Mary Jane, is returning, as revealed by actor Jake Johnson. I'm curious to see what his home life is like. When you first have kids, you forget about your passions and your entire passion becomes your kids, and then your kids start getting older and you remember that you have passions, too, he said. So I'm curious to see if Peter, in having kids, fell back in love with being Spider-Man. Let's not forget. Even in the Spider-Verse, he might have a gut, but has still Spider-Man. Meanwhile, Chris Lord and Phil Miller have stated that they intend to make a hilarious Spidey video game glitch into movie canon in the sequel.